been collecting hawthorn berries and I found this little tunnel, a little tunnel of hawthorn leading down to the river. I'm back home now with my little hawthorn tree. This little one is too young to produce fruit, so I gather my haws from the old thicket of wild hawthorn trees you saw earlier. It's actually the very same place that this little hawthorn tree was born. Hawthorn belongs to the rose family. When hawthorn blooms, her branches are covered in delicate, white, five-petaled flowers, which are followed by the haws. The haws look like teeny tiny rose hips and are lovely eaten fresh. The pulpy flesh is pale, creamish yellow in colour and surrounds a single round seed. They taste mild and sweet. Here are some haws I have dried for use in my teas, infusions and tinctures. You can see how once dried the colour deepens to a dusky red. Fresh haws are a bright red, blood red, which brings us to the qualities of hawthorn. Blood, the heart, the circulatory and nervous systems all benefit from the regular consumption of hawthorn. This gentle tree heals us slowly and deeply over time. Hawthorn's young leaves are edible. They are rich in minerals and have a mild, nutty flavour. From one hawthorn tree to the next, you'll find the leaf shape and size will vary widely, but they always have a hawthorny look to them. The leaves have five to seven lobes and are alternately ranged along the stem. They have very sharp, slender thorns. In times gone by, these thorns were employed as sewing needles. Hawthorn grows up to 30 foot tall. This one's only about three foot tall. So it's a lot of growing up to do over the next 400 years or so. Now, there is one last thing we must discuss before you approach this enchanted looking tree. Hawthorne stands at the threshold of the other world. Gather her fruit as you may. Just keep in mind that Hawthorne is under the protection of fairies. If you hear a little flutter and notice a berry offered with arms outstretched, think very carefully before you accept. There are countless cautionary tales that speak of what happens to those who have eaten the food of fairies. Goodbye.